Episode 7, Error Handling and Debugging. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a run. So we can run the client. And I actually expect there to be a few errors. And it's loading my user. Uh, I don't like the music, so it's bad. Pretty sure I muted that. To a single player world, create new, uh, let's make it loud sheets. Alright, let me put the console, resize this so it's not so tiny. Alright, now if we type something like what set.
Uh, let's export this uh, for use. So if you stop watching because you thought I was going to do errors, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's reopen uh, Forge Mod Builder. And, you know, let's say the version that we want to export this. This feels like it's a step up from when we started. Uh, so let's set that to 5.0.5.3 because I'm feeling optimistic. That is how you update the version. And uh, then we can build the project. And if we go to the folder uh, here, the under builds, and you can watch it. Smaller, can't be that big. Okay, so this is building it, and then you should be able to uh, throw it into a mods folder. Um, so yeah, we'll be in the session. There's that. It's actually not fully done yet. I don't think. Now it is. Uh, so this is the this won't actually work in minecraft i don't believe this is just the the source or the java files uh, so here's the java <clears throat> and also um if you wanted to like actually say something uh in the mods menu of forge uh you would want to edit uh, this stuff that mc mod uh, info uh, the pack meta, actually, you don't need to do anything there. Uh, so you'd want to give the description, mod ID, all of this stuff. Uh, this Not all of it's needed, but like the author and all that. Um, but yeah, there is that. Uh, um, I hope you enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, you would just throw this into, you know, the mods folder. Alright, thanks for watching. This has been Drew, and have a nice day.